Out of the 14 subjects that you must complete your examinations in, one subject was only introduced a couple of years ago and is still being implemented in training organizations around the globe. And this subject is called Area 100 KSA. KSA stands for Knowledge, Skills and Attitude. Area 100 KSA is not a technical topic like the others, where you're learning a subject with the intent to take a multiple choice exam at the end. No, it is a cross topic exercise slash assessment tool that allows students to develop what we call competencies. Now, what does that mean? What are competencies? The competencies that we're looking for from you and for you to have as a pilot has been highlighted right here. And it is to step away from the road learning memory model where students simply memorize questions to pass an exam, but then later in their career are not sufficiently equipped in terms of knowledge and skills to handle a very demanding aviation career. Therefore, this topic here has been introduced as the 14th topic in the ATPL syllabus, and it will teach you competencies in communication, leadership and teamwork, problem solving and decision making, and situational awareness. We call these four core competencies. Furthermore, we're also looking for threat and error management related competencies. And they include workload management, application of knowledge, and upset recovery and resilience. Now, what does all this mean to you? It means that during your theoretical knowledge training, you are not just learning this knowledge with the intent to take an exam. Built into the course are assessments where you have to apply the knowledge you've learned from multiple subjects, participate in group discussions or exercises, complete an assignment of some sort, and you have to show adequate communication skills, teamwork and time management skills, problem solving and decision making, and you need to have a good situational awareness. We perform these assessments to ensure that you can, when the time comes, function within a demanding environment. And that demanding environment is what it is to be a professional pilot. The regulations that surround Area 100 KSA states that you must successfully complete one formative assessment, two summative assessments, and one mental math test. These are built into the course and usually you find them at the end of a module. The formative assessment, which will always be your first assessment, it is not graded, it's like a practice assessment to build competencies. Formative assessments, therefore, do not necessarily cover all of the learning objectives to meet all of the requirements for an assessment. It is for you to build competencies and learn what the assessments are about. The two summative assessments that you would have to complete during your course, as a minimum, are graded based on our grading tool, and a minimum grade of two, which is satisfactory, is required to pass the assessment. Collectively, these two summative assessments must cover all of the learning objectives for the assessment. The instructor cannot and will not give any inputs to help the candidates with the assessment. You must also complete one mental math test. You will complete a test online with 22 questions. The minimum passing grade is 75% and it will cover all of the learning objectives that are listed in the regulatory requirement. This was a short video on a specific topic. If you want to see the hundreds of videos we made available on professional aviation content, head on to our academy at academy dot mindspacex.com and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to follow us we'll be putting up these videos regularly